Hey, welcome back to Diamonds Living Lovely. And as promised, today I'm going to show you what I use to dye my hair and the process that I do directly after dyeing my hair. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I will be using for my curly hair routine for the next month or so. So I'm excited because there are some new products and I can't wait to show them to you. So let's get started. First things first, my dye that I use is called Clairol Textures and Tones. And the box looks like this. And I just love this dye. It's like the best dye in the world. And the color that I use is 1N Natural Black. And it's just the best dye in the world. And what they give you is three things they give you a no ammonia moisture rich hair color so this is where you get the color from right here comes in a bottle like this and then number two they give you a color activating cream and it comes in a mixing bottle like this and you take these two you take these two elements you and you mix them together. So you pour this in the bottle, you put on your gloves, you hold your finger like this, you shake it on up, shake, 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 and it mixes together. And once you get that that uh, consistency that you want and it's completely mixed, um, then you take off this little tip right here. And you begin to apply it to your hair. Now, mind you, you have to apply it to your hair immediately after you mix it because it loses its effectiveness after an hour or so. So, you want to do that immediately. So, then you let it, depending on whether you're doing a touch up like me or whether you're doing it for the first time, you're going to let it stay on your hair anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And then you're going to hop in the shower, like I'm about to do, and you're going to rinse it out until the water runs clear, and then, um, then you're going to condition after you shampoo. I'm sorry. First you rinse, then you shampoo, and then you're going to condition. And they give you, the third thing is this intensive moisturizing conditioner. And it looks like this and they give you more than enough to use unless your hair is like super long and so this is the best thing next to man to me because when I use this as soon as you put on your hair you feel your hair getting instantly softer it's like it's just so good so you put this conditioner on and then you hop out the shower I will leave this on about one to three minutes, then rinse it out, hop out the shower. <clears throat> and then um, what I like to do is I like to cellophane my hair after that because cellophane provides color protectant for dye and extra conditioning. And it's really important when you're dyeing your hair to get the extra conditioning. And so, um, sorry, my mom was doing something, <laughs> showing me something. So, for that extra conditioning, I'm going to use my Sebastian cellophane. And I love the cellophane. And I use clear. Clear is the one, it provides extra conditioning. Now, you can use a color one if you choose, but why would you when you just dyed your hair, right? It doesn't make sense. So, you use this and I believe this is about $35.99 or $39.99 depending on where you go and I got this from my local beauty supply and I believe the dye is about $7 so you know you're going to spend a little bit of money for your hair but I think your hair is worth it and you should too it's your hair you should take care of it right and do what it takes to get the results that you want so <clears throat> After you apply the cellophane to your hair, you're going to sit under the dryer for 15 minutes. And then you're going to come out of the dryer and just 
chill for five minutes, let it cool down, and then jump back in the shower, shampoo your hair again, and then use whatever conditioner you would like. You can use any shampoo, any conditioner that you would like. And I am going to use some new products called Jane Carter Solutions. And it's called Jane Carter Solution Hair Care for Humanity. And because I'm going to be doing my curly girl routine when I come back to you next time, I'm going to be using a few products. I'm going to be using my curl cream. It's called Curl Defining Cream. I'm be, these are one that comes in a jar like this, but... I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm going to be using when I come back to you in the next video. But I will save that for when I hop out the shower. But for right now, I'm just going to say goodbye. I just wanted to explain what the next part of the process is for me. Because I've already applied the dye to my hair and I have it in this bun. It's waiting to be rinsed out, shampooed, conditioned, and for me to apply my cellophane. And I don't, I'm not going to show you the part where I cellophane my hair. And I didn't show you the part where I dyed my hair because it's really messy. And I don't want to be dealing with the camera while I'm doing that. And um, so, yeah. So I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. But I will show you the part where I do my curly girl routine because that's important. Most of you probably already know how to dye your hair if you've been dyeing your hair for a long time or you have a person that you go to to dye your hair and that's fine as well but I just want to show you what I do to dye my hair and what products that I use to make sure that my hair stays healthy and vibrant but anyways this video is getting a little long so I will come back to you and show you the last part of the process which is my curly girl routine and bye for now love you and always live lovely